Hello everyone, this video is going to be about keyboard lettering. Keyboard lettering is a little different than text in that keyboard lettering is lettering of pre-digitized letters. In this case we're going to look at some satins and fill letters and the letters are, some letters are included with 2.1.2 and there's others that you can get on the website. So let's first draw a graphic and we'll draw a curved graphic like this. Now the curved graphic is single stitches and under the type we have a new type called lettering. This has been here for a while um, but now we have more letterings in the store so it's more interesting. So we choose lettering and then in the object browser we have lettering category and it says here that we don't have a lettering file name. So we choose the lettering file name Then after we've done that, we can write some lettering. So let's just do lettering as our text. And you'll notice that now we have lettering going along this line. And when we stitch this out, you'll see that indeed it does some underlay first, and then it does the letters in order, just as if you would digitize your letters like this, this actually. is their individual embroidery designs and they follow the line. Now let's say we wanted to change the lettering spacing. We can do that by choosing spacing. So now, right now, um, the spacing is set to zero. We set this to a value of 10. It will spread the letters out. But if we didn't want that 10, we wanted to space them individually we can go to where it says spacing auto, choose that. A dialog box will come up. And within the dialog box, there will be all the letters that we have on the screen. So you can see with each of the letters, we have columns here. We have the letter, which you can't actually change the letter um, in here, but you can select it. And if we selected the E, let's say, uh, we don't like the spacing on the E. The E spacing is too far away. So we can press these arrows and it will move it. Now every time it moves it, it has to recalculate. So it's not too terribly fast. So if you wanted to, let's say, do a couple different letters at once, you could, let's say, we want to space the T out a little bit more. So we'll give that 10. And then we want to space the G out, let's say, 10. And you notice nothing's happening to the graphic. Um, you can space, you can type in these values and hit update, and then all three of those update at once. Now let's say we wanted to alternate the color of the lettering. Basically, we can do that by turning letters on and off. And so to do that, let's say we're just going to alternate blue and red. We'll take the current graphic that we have, we'll copy it, we'll paste it in the same location. <clears throat> and it's recalculating, so it takes a little while. Um, and you can see now that we have two letters on top of each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate the letters. So let's just not to confuse us. We're going to hide the one, and we're going to go to spacing. And you notice that we have stitched all checked here. So let's say we start with the blue, and we're going to do every other letter. It's going to be red. So we just turn off every other letter. Didn't work. Turn off every other letter. I guess you gotta close the box, you can't say update. And then we choose the other one. And let's just change the color of this first to red. And then we'll turn off every other one on the red, but starting with the L. Now you can see we have every other letter um, stitch out in a different color. And now if we go ahead and stitch this out, you know, so it'll do the blue first. And it'll do the red. 
So there will be a change in colors there. You probably notice that the lettering is scaled to the length of the line. So if we were to change the scale of the line, and we have both graphics selected, you'll notice that the lettering changes size. So sometimes you don't want that. You want to actually set the size yourself. So under lettering, you can see there's an option <clears throat> to fit to line. Now, if this is a typical lettering that can scale, it'll say true here. If you can't say if it can't scale, it will say false here and you won't have this fit to line option. But we'll change this to false. And then at this point, we basically can change the scale of lettering. So let's say we just want to scale it one to one as it was drawn by me in embroidery design. That's the way it was drawn. Now we can just double the size and it'll go off to the end of the line, you'll notice, because it just continues going because instead of scaling to the line, it just goes off the end of the line. There are some letters that aren't scalable, and so we're going to change this to all capitals because I have a lettering that is all capitals. So we changed the lettering type to all capitals. Now you notice it changed all the spacing because there's basically new characters added. So we'll do this lettering called etch, which is actually filled lettering, like satin, I mean like uh, fill patterns. You can see that it looks like this. Now this lettering is one inch tall. Um, you notice that it can't fit to line. Um, so instead of fitting to line, we just have different sizes. So in this case, we have a one and a half inch and a one inch. So let's watch this stitch out. So you'll see that it's just like other fills that you would design yourself with underlay and various section ordering. Now, just like before, you can go ahead and you can alternate the letters or turn the letters off that you want. So in this case, we're just going to turn them off. We won't do the second set of letters because you've seen that before. But we'll just turn the second set of letters off. And you'll notice that it will only print the every other letter. And so you could do whatever you want for colors. Um, you know, you could have lettering or some lettering with every letter was a different color but since you copy and paste it on top of it um, basically you can have them follow a line all nicely together um, by just turning off the letters that you want in the second one let me show that once more we can we can turn this to red And we can turn on the ones that we don't have on on the other one. And we have every other letter.